Robots today are still struggling with doing the most basic things. The reality of robotics is that picking up a cup off a table, if a robot could do that in any environment it was in, kind of sitting next to us, that almost requires a Nobel Prize. It's that hard. If we rewind prior to the mid-70s, mainframes were big, very expensive machines that required scientists to operate them. They weren't really accessible to everyone. Then the microprocessor was invented, and all of a sudden we had the beginning of the personal computer revolution. It's called a chip. Computers are the future. They're everywhere because they're useful, they're doing things. Your home computer to read the day's newspaper. Well, it's not as far-fetched as it may seem. They became these general purpose machines that could do multiple things, and eventually the smartphones that we carry around with us everywhere today. Something very similar is happening in robotics. We've had mainframe robotics or industrial robotics for 20, 30, 40 years. And I think we're now on the cusp of transitioning into everyday robots. What we are ultimately doing are building machines that can live and operate among humans one day. Our goal is to create a platform that enables lots of different people to program and teach these robots to do lots of different things. We know that that's going to just have a huge multiplicative effect where the robots are out there in the world doing things that we never could have imagined and helping people. That's the goal. I think robots can add a tremendous amount of value to society. They'll work alongside us. They'll be our partners. That's not where robots are today. Robots are very simple machines, can barely move around without bumping into things. Hey, robot, let's go for a walk. Let's go. So now it's basically in this, uh, <laughs> it's probably not the best thing. Um, well, okay. 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 All right. That is bad. We should definitely cut that out. There's this, uh, this thing called Moravec's paradox. It states that in artificial intelligence, the hard things are easy and the easy things are hard. Basic motor control, perception, you know, navigating a crowd at a baseball game or something like that. These things are not actually easy. They're easy for us because they have to be, otherwise we wouldn't survive. So evolution has prepared us over millions of years to be good at the things that are essential to our survival. Our brains weren't built to play chess, but they're so flexible and so capable that we can sort of shoehorn them into this weird problem and get them to do uh, you know, planning and algebra and so on, and it takes us a lot of effort. For machines, they can do the algebra and math out of the box. But the things that are intuitive, the things that are common sense, those we have to actually help them do. And uh, that's been one of the biggest challenges in robotics.